What's up guys? All right, so today, tutorial in Funko Pro 10. And yes, I'm gonna be talking about the masking tool, a little pin tool that you use, uh, well, that I use anyways, to uh, either brighten white backgrounds or uh, changing colors to like t-shirts or something like that, depending on the color of it. So let me turn around, let's jump into that. So here we are in Funnel Cut. I picked this clip specifically because I record a lot of video for programs uh, that require white backgrounds. And this one I recorded purposely where the left side of the clip is, is a little more dim than the right side of the clip. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my color corrections tab and I'm gonna add a color board. And I'm gonna make sure that it first is exposed correctly. So I'm gonna raise the highlights just a tiny bit and then it looks a little desaturated, so I'm gonna increase the saturation a bit as well. And so the next step is, of course, the masking. I am not going to use the same color board where I'm trying to expose correctly and using saturation for my tones. What I'm gonna do is go to the drop down and click another color board. This is where I am going to select this icon here where the drop down is gonna show me the options for masking, whether it's shape or color. And what we're gonna focus on is adding a color mask. So when I click on this, this will come down here, and then when I drag my mouse on top of my viewer, you will see the eyedropper. Now again, I know this side over here is unevenly lit. As soon as I click the left button and drag the mouse over, you see what's being selected. If I drag too much, it starts grabbing my shirt. So again, I'm focusing only on the white background so I can make it look vibrant, white, crisp. So after it's selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the exposure, and I'm gonna just expose the highlights up and as soon as I do, you see it starts getting really nice and white. And I'm going to crank, I just crank that baby all the way up. It doesn't affect my skin tones. It doesn't affect my shirt because those parts are not selected, only this part. And as you can see over here, this part wasn't selected. That's why I see these artifacts over here. So what I need to do is I need to add another color board and do the same process. But this time I select over here where I know that I didn't select it prior. And I'll just select just enough to where I can see the entire white background is being selected or at least I know when I raise the exposure, it's gonna be evenly lit as such. So it's selected, I'm gonna go back to the exposure tab, increase this, and boom, there it is. You have your nice vibrant white background. Now, if you look at the before, there it is. So yes, this is acceptable, but for me, I just, again, I like to go for that nice punchy white look for the white background, and that's how you do it, it's that simple. So sometimes it might not be this simple, uh, just make sure that you always expose correctly. If you use a white background, be sure to use two softbox lights or two lights pointing at the white background so that way you do get a nice look in the background. You can easily raise those highlights uh, because if you have too much shadow, it's it can be hell to bring up. So make sure that you do expose correctly. Now, the second part of this was to change the color of my shirt. Now, typically what I'll do is I'll go into the color wheel, same process, I'll click on this icon, Add a color mask, select my shirt, or the part you want to change for the color. Come over here, change the temperature if you wanted to, and then change, start changing the tint. More of a purple shirt. Maybe you want to change uh, the shadows a little bit more. But it's it's basically it's 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 that easy. So it's always easier to change the color of a shirt if it's blue, uh, for of course you have green. It's really hard to change a white t-shirt. Sometimes it's really hard to change a black t-shirt. There's ways to do it, especially in Da Vinci. But if there is a color on the shirt, it's really easy to change it just by using this little tutorial that I'm showing you with, with the uh, added color mask. You can use this also on the color board but I find it easier to change the color of a shirt here. But that's as easy as I guess to kick up those highlights in the white background and possibly changing a shirt if you wanted to. Now there's different ways and different tools to use uh, to change the color of a shirt. Uh, I know there's a new hue and plus saturation curves that helps you really pinpoint certain colors. And I might share that with you in another tutorial, but I just wanted to give you a nice quick basic tutorial of how to increase white exposure, uh, specifically with a pen tool, and also changing color of your t-shirt. So I hope you guys liked that tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And besides that, my friends, I will catch you guys in the next video.